Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I got another great Rubox item I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, if you've been a fan of uh, my channel for any time now, you've seen I've done uh, several reviews um, for uh, headphone products by Rubox. And I think the quality of their items are really great. And I have the opportunity today to be able to uh, let you know about another product of theirs. This is the uh, WT8S model. This is a wired slash wireless headphone set. And you see right here from the box, um, it's uh, you know pretty good size. Um, when you get it, it's going to be your headphones going to be nestled inside this nice cradled um, container here, so that way you know you're going to get it safe upon delivery. And um, I'm just going to go over the box here because there's lots of uh, featured information on there I wanted to bring to your attention uh, before I actually show you the product. Um, First of all, it supports volume control, it has built-in mic, has hi-fi quality sound, it's soundproofed, that's another way of saying that it's uh, noise canceling, and um, it has the wireless slash wired connection. Uh, that's just from the face of the um, box here. And then on the back, uh, it, has, it tells us that it has excellent battery performance, um, and then also it works with computers, TV, iPad, smartphones, uh, and works with MP3s and MP4s. So that's really versatile for uh, different types of music that it's able to uh, um, use as well as uh, the different uh, types of devices that you can use it on. Uh, one thing that it doesn't mention on here, um, which I use it for, is for the Xbox One. Um, I use it for gameplay. Um, the mic is excellent on it. It's an inline mic and I think it does a really good job and the sound quality is really good also while you're playing games. Um, some of the specifications from the side of the box here, uh, from like the driver unit, um, the speaker material is NDFEB, speaker size or, or driver is 40 millimeters, um, the Bluetooth version is 4.2, the power rating is 30 milliwatts, speaker sensitivity is 107, plus or minus 3 decibels, and the resistance is 32 ohms. Um, let's see here. You got uh, the microphone and charge time. Micro sensitivity is negative uh, 58 plus or minus three decibels. Um, mic type is um, capacitance. Uh, the frequency response is 30 millihertz to 16 uh, kilohertz. Uh, the play time is approximately 10 hours, so you get a good long amount of time to uh, play when it's uh, running off the battery. Uh, the standby time is 160 hours, and the charge time is roughly two hours. Um, the good thing that's nice about this, and with the with the 10 hour uh, approximate play time, that it will work. Even if it runs out of power, um, you can use the auxiliary cord that comes with it, and then you'll be able to use it continuous uh, after that point until you decide that you're able to recharge it. Um, the auxiliary cord that comes with it is a really nice long auxiliary cord, um, and it has the built-in inline functions here and then one end has the standard straight 3.5 and and the other side has the curved one uh, this is what I was talking about with Xbox that I like compared to a lot of other um, uh, cords that you use on your uh, Xbox when you plug it into the bottom uh, you don't have to worry about it sticking straight out and jabbing you or have to worry about banging into it This way it has a nice even flow. There's no strain on on the actual cord itself So you're gonna um, it's gonna last a long time and it's not gonna cause problems with your devices and stuff So that's really nice and then the other end I would hook into my you know the actual headphones it also comes with the little um, uh, Android style micro USB uh, charging cable, which I didn't really need because my phone is this type of wire. So I'm, I'm continuing to use that when I'm not charging my phone, I can charge these. Um, and then without further ado, here's the headphones. And as you see, it has a nice foldable design. And you simply open it up and they snap into place and they kind of lock right into place really nice. But don't let that fool you. It's not, you don't have to worry about breaking them. You just fold them and they, they kind of snap back into place. And then it keeps it so that it's nice and uh, compact for storage uh, capabilities. Um, and plus then you don't have to worry about them, you know, breaking in your book bag or, you know, wherever you have them because, you know, they're, they're going to, you know, get mashed up in there. They're already folded nice and tight and compact. Pretty much all the controls are going to be done on your left side, which is really nice. It has a left and right indicator on your headphones as well as padded earphones and head headrest. Uh, so that way, you know, if you're using it for hours, you're not going to have discomfort. But with regard to the uh, um, controls here, you have your standard uh, power button, 
um, your your mode, your um, volume up and down, or um, tra track advance, or or, or um, you know uh, reduce, and then you have your charging USB port. You have your auxiliary port, and then also really nice, you have a TF card slot, uh, and then there's a little little hole there, which is a uh, um, a mic also. Um, the TF card is really nice, even if you're not using, if you wanted to go out and you don't want to uh, carry your device along with you, you can load a TF card in there with music or, or you know audiobooks or whatever, and you can just take it and go. You don't have to worry about other devices. You just you know go out for a walk or you know do whatever you're gonna do. Sit out on the front porch, and you don't have to worry about bringing your phone with you and being disturbed that way. Uh, one of the really nice features about this, it gives it a nice design. When you turn it on, uh, they have lights on the outside of this device. You can see the lights change colors here. As, as they're on, they kind of go through a gambit of uh, different colors, slowly changing. So it's not really disturbing like some other headphones that are on the market that flash and it's that that are uh, you know typically really annoying and then if you don't want those lights on because that will conserve your that will use your power you can always just hit the mode button on the side hold on to that and then they shut off they also have um adjustments on the other side you just simply pull it you know pull it pull either side like that and adjust it to the particular size um which makes it you know really versatile for uh different head sizes like that's the largest size right there and it's really too big for me so i gotta tighten it up a little bit just slide it into place until it's at a comfortable level for you and i see it works with a hat as well so real simple i mean these i think these are a great sounding pair of headphones the um the driver is a really adequate size for bringing good quality and sound and um personally like i said i use it for music i use it for my xbox and i'm really happy with the sound quality as i've always been with rubox products um it also does come with a little instruction manual to kind of go through some of the um you know troubleshooting and um things for setting it up for different things such as bluetooth and stuff like that and um that's really about it. I think it's a great product. I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think it's a great product. Uh, but don't just take my word for it. Check out the link in the description below and help see if this item's right for you or not. And if you enjoy this content and would like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and also hit that bell icon so that way you can get up to the minute um, notifications of uh, current um, videos that I put up. Thanks a lot for stopping by today here at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.